All right, I just want to go over the data model that we have for this flipped classroom uh, as a way to sort of go over a little bit um, what's going on with the Firestore database and, and Firestore storage. So here we're, you know, uh, we're at the, we have authentication, which you've seen before, and, you know, there are these tabs up here like sign in method and your settings. So, um, you're going to see a similar thing and they're, they're down here under build uh but you know i have them cached up here because I've, I've changed them so firestore database is up here and what what it shows you is that there's a collection here called all photos and then in that uh collection there are documents and these are the document ids of the documents and when i click on them i get to see some data about them, like their size, you know, the owner, the owner UID, let's see, the owner, the owner UID stays the same, um, picture title, timestamp, and UUID. Uh, UUID is a, a randomly generated identifier that uh, we use for reasons I will describe in a minute. <clears throat> but these are, this is the database, and there are no photos in the database, but there is photo metadata. So, uh, as we saw from the way these, these things work, uh, we, we have a collection, then a document, then a collection. Um, in all of these cases, the document is the terminating, uh, you know, the hierarchy terminates in a document. Uh, none of these documents have embedded collections, although, you know, we could add one. You know, you can also go in here and, like, edit the value. Um, generally, I try to avoid that, but if occasionally you just want to, like, check what happens when you have a really long string uh, you know. sure you know go go for it um, the one thing we are gonna have to set up here is this rule for accessing the database because we do want to have fairly liberal access to the database um, that, that's you know Okay, so that's uh, that's that's the uh, document uh, data model, and then here in storage, which is sort of like a file system, we have a uh, what I would call a directory. Sometimes it's called a path prefix. You know, and, the, and these things are um, sort of you can translate them into URLs, but let's not, let's not get into it. You know, and, and here I can upload a file, I can create a folder. A couple of things I can do, and I, I can add a bucket. Um, I think, I think, yeah, I'm not sure. Let's see, is this is this the bucket level? <coughs> Sorry, yeah, this is the bucket level. So the, the, these these are actually um, there's a bucket, and then there are uh, paths within the bucket, and the paths can sort of act as pseudo directories, but uh, I don't want to, I don't want to get into the details right now. Anyway, it's, it's sort of like a cloud file system. It looks a bit like your, your local file system, but the naming means something a little different. So all of these files and images are named by UUID and UUID is a way to generate a random value uh, on a phone that is very unlikely to conflict with anyone else's generated random value. And uh, that way we can both, uh, we don't have to communicate. We can locally randomly generate a file name, both upload it to the server, and with very, very high probability, we will not conflict. For all of these, you can see that uh, the metadata uh, is filled in, in the sense that the MIME type is set to image slash JPG, which allows us to have this this little uh, uh, preview, and even though the file name doesn't end in .jpg, the the um, metadata uh, makes it clear that it is. And uh, you know, there's, there's some sto there's like a, a f sort of a full URL. Um, there's some access token. There's uh, that's, that's some some stuff that we we probably won't need, but you know, just so you know that it's there. Um, you can sort of click around and in this view of things and it's it's just kind of nice to know that it exists um, and uh, these UUIDs are what's being referred to 
in the photo metadata here. So, you know, this one ends 500A9, and there is an image 500A9. So that's the image that that one refers to. Okay.